In this video from shopstuff.co.uk we're going to demonstrate how to set up a department on the Casio SES400 cash register. A department is a category of sale and will show up on your end of day reports saying how much you've sold through each department. So in this demonstration video we're going to program one department to be groceries and we're going to set it to be tax rate one and we're going to set it to be variable price. Okay, first of all, you need the manager key and you need to turn it around to PGM position. Once you're in PGM, a list of all the settings is displayed. Debt setting is already highlighted, so we simply press cash amount tend and then we type in the number of the department we wish to program. So for this demo, we'll just program department one. You press number one on the zero to nine keypad and then press the cash amount tender button. You're now given a list of departments, so you could now toggle through them and say program department seven, but for this demonstration we'll do department one, which is already highlighted, so we simply press cash amount tend, and that brings up all the settings for this department. First of all, we're gonna change the department name from debt 001, the default, to groceries. You scroll up, so it's highlighted, and then you'll notice that the department buttons and some of the function buttons have alpha characters on the front of the buttons. So we can type, use these to type in the name of the department. And then use the full stop delete button to get rid of any leftover original text. Once you're happy with your description, you press cash amount tend and it will scroll down to the price. If this department was being set up with a preset price, you could now type in the price. Our department is going to be an open variable price, so we're going to leave the price at zero. You then scroll to taxable status, which should be as default set to non-tax. And if you want to change it to be tax rate one, you simply press the cash amount tend button and it brings up the different options so you can have taxable status of non-tax, tax one, two, three and four. This machine's already been set up so that tax rate one is 20%. So we're going to use the arrow down button and choose tax rate one by pressing the cash amount tend button. Our group link will leave that at zero because we're not using groups on this machine. But you could have groups such as wet and dry if you were saying the pub trade. And you can have all your wet sales departments linked to the wet group and all your dry sales, even though we're split into different departments, linked to the um, dry group. Next option down we will use, this is high amount lockout. This is used to stop people putting, by mistake, too high a value for a certain department. So you could set it to £100, say which would stop anyone putting a sale of more than £100 through the machine. Depending on your setup, you could have this at £99.99 or £10, or you could just leave it blank. Once you're happy with your settings, you press cash amount end to save it. And then you notice at the bottom of the screen, you have return is subtotal. You press subtotal, it'll print out the settings for that department and you then brought back to the main menu of the department so you can now go on and program departments two, three, four, however many you need. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll just show you how to escape from the program setting. You press subtotal again, subtotal once more. Now you're back in the main PGM mode. So you can turn the key back around to reg. We'll have a quick look at the printout. We can see that the machine has printed out grocery with no fixed price, so we know that the program's done. If we pop a quick sale through department one, we could see on the receipt that one pound has been sold through the grocery department. For more information on Casio cash registers, please visit shopstuff.co.uk.